You broke into my fort! Last time on Sea of Stars. Are you Malcomoot? Why did you hurt my pet? Uh... Hello, you beautiful nerds, and welcome back to another episode of the Sea of Stars on PlayStation 5, right here on Missile Dine Online. What's up? That's me. That's my channel. Thank you all so much for clicking on yet another Sea of Stars video. I am so excited for this one, y'all, because look at the environment that we're in. We are in the Coral Cascades, and this place is beautiful. Now, as far as I'm aware, the music that you're hearing is actually Yush, uh, uh, Mitsuda, the person that did the music for Chrono Trigger and a bunch of other games. Uh, I believe this is actually their first guest track that they've done. And my gosh, y'all, so far it is, it is just, it is so beautiful. In the last episode, we helped the moles. <laughs> that We helped the moles. In this episode, we're looking for a boat. So we're gonna go through the Coral Cascades and hopefully find ourselves in Brisk where we can meet Captain Cliche's crew. Hey, how y'all liking the series so far? Don't forget comments, likes, all of that stuff sincerely, sincerely helps it out. So let's get into it, baby. I believe we are level five now. Yes, about halfway through level five for our, our heroes, our Solstice Warriors and their best friend, Garl. Doesn't look like there's anything over here, but we do have some new enemies. Which is, uh, well, let's see what they do. Oh, can I not? Can I not? Oh, I can't attack. Oh, what are you? All right, we got a croob and a mangler fish. I, uh, I like them. Looks like the mangler fish here is casting. So we're going to see. We have 275 health on that baby. Holy smokes. We are going to sunball on the fish here. Oops. I messed up. That's okay. I actually feel like maybe... No, this will work. This will work. We're going to Moonerang. Oh, yeah. That fish weak to magic, which is great. Krub doesn't appear to be weak to magic or physical attacks, at least. Ooh, and we get... Oh, that's cool. Um, doesn't appear to be... Oh, my bird. Doesn't appear to be weak to magic, but... Or bashing. So, maybe there's more to do there. Let's be careful not to go down any waterfalls just yet. I'm sure we can get back up there. It looks like uh, a little mechanic to do with that. Let's actually go all the way on this side and go down here. What? Just because we can. Doesn't it appear like there's anything in here. You never know. Oh, I see a chest. You know me. We need to get those. But yeah, I am, y'all, I am thoroughly enjoying this. Oh, no, no, no. It's too, water's too fast. Water's too fast. Okay, that's okay. I don't think we're supposed to go in. It's okay. It's okay. We can go up here. So I like, I just, this game is, uh, the more and more we get into it, the more and more I'm like, this game is just, it just absolutely rocks my socks. We're able to find a moon cradle fish pie. That sounds awesome. Party recovers 55 HP and 5 MP. That is, uh, nothing to, nothing to sniff at. S nothing to sniff, nothing to sniff at. I don't, listen, it checks out. Doesn't look like we're going to be able to get over there at all. If we can just get to the land. All right, we were able to get over here. Curious to see if there's any way. Hmm. I was hopeful that maybe we could jump up there, but there must be another way over there. We did see that there was this thing here that actually will propel us up. That just brings us back to where we were earlier. Oh, there's actually two different sections here. Ooh, okay. So this is the first right. And then this will bring us back to the waterfalls. If we use that other lift, it would bring us all the way back to let's go down this way. Would bring us all the way back to the top where we started our adventures in the Coral Cascades. Looks like there's a lot of enemies right here, so let's go ahead and fight them. After we come up here. Oh, I see. Okay, so it all kind of goes together. 
surely there's something back here. Oh, yep. There we go. I knew we could get to this chest. We'll get 50 golds. Doesn't seem like that much at this point, but... Okay, I knew, I knew we could get over there. Oh, I love it. The sense of exploration, the fact that the combat is ridiculously good, the presentation is just wildly beautiful. What a, what a wonderful experience this game already is so far, and we're not even that far into it. Right here, we can fart on that hand. Yes! Fart on that hand? You know what I meant. You, use our, use our, <laughs> use our hand fart. And we get another rainbow conch. That is our sixth rainbow conch, which means that we actually have a rainbow conch for every episode of the series so far. This is our sixth episode, which is pretty neat. Let's go ahead and fight some more. Those mangler fish, though, look so scary. So scary. All right, we're going to go ahead and attack with... Oh, jeez. We'll go ahead and attack here. At least get that double slice. Okay. Crubes don't appear to do that much damage. A little worried about their other stuff. All right, let's go ahead and boost with that Valir. Not Valerie, Valir. All right. Zale now is going to come in with Sunball and deplete these Mangler Fish. See ya. Now we just got the crew to do. We're going to go ahead and Mending Light here. So the Kroob's 420 experience plays it. The Kroob's don't appear to have a weakness, which is which is a little odd to me, but... All right, so that's all we can do there is just that one little fight. Obviously, we got the Rainbow Conch, which is a pretty big deal. So let's continue then the way we were actually going in the first place before I decided to go backwards. Looks like this is the way we got to go. It's like we're going to have to go all the way this way. Whoa, okay. Well, all right. Doesn't appear to be anything hidden in this area. So let's pop up here. And obviously we can grab some stuff. This is a really, like, I, I know, I feel like I say it every episode, but every episode, they proved me right. The game just has... Let's see what this... Oh, nice! Well, there is something hidden in there. We also got some taters. The game just... The, the variety of locales already that we've been to is just beautiful. We get an obsidian ore. Continue down this way. And we can grab... Wow! Oh, I keep forgetting that we're not able to get a preemptive attack there. Who, unfortunately, not able to... We don't have enough MP for anybody to be able to do anything here. We do have the Moon Cradle Fish that we could use. Moon Cradle Fish Pie. You know what? Let's do it. And then Valir is going to Moonerang. Oh! Able to break a lot of those. Bubble drop is uh, okay. I guess if they all teamed up on one person, we would have a little bit of a problem, but I think we'll be okay. We'll do a big old sunball here. Uh, not close enough to deplete anybody. There we go. 360 experience, and we're able to get a bunch of fillets from that too. Quick little fight for us. And then let's jump up here. What is this? Boat, ship, boat, ship, boat, ship, boat, ship, brisk. I, I, you, what? I don't know. Anyways, can we get down into that area? I don't think so. Not from here anyways. It looks like maybe, ah, uh, you know what? It looks like we actually have to come and fall down here to be able to break through and into where another rainbow conch is. Yep, that looks to be exactly what we need to do. Let's go ahead and we won't be able to get up from this way. 
but we will be able to get up from right there, so let's do it. This is a cool, really cool area. And then from there, we can propel up. And one more. All right, now we're up on that platform that I was like, how do we get over there? Because we couldn't get before because of the way the water was. Obviously, there's nothing up here, but it does allow us to get back to the fast-moving part in case we missed it. But I think from here we can... Yes, there we go. And we can drop down right here. Wa-bam, baby! Brings us right down and another rainbow conch. That is our seventh rainbow conch, y'all. There we go. We got it. Let's go ahead and uh, go back to where we need to go here. Which looks like we could just go... Right, there's nothing there, so down, back down. What about, what about over here? This is the, this is so cool because it just feels like there's so many, so many avenues of exploration that we can partake in. Use this, we can get down to the beach level. I think we're coming on pretty close to where we gotta go. There's no boat here. Better come to Brisk to the east. Looks like there's another, ooh, bunch of enemies there. A place to set up camp as well place that we can rest, uh, you know, sit in a towel. So we're not going to leave that way because I think that actually does lead us back to the world map. We obviously want to grab this basket here where we can grab a Shadra. Shadra. If you're looking for a boat, you're almost there. Hey, we are looking for a boat. I'm guessing this way leads us to a boat. So, and, oh, you, uh, we can't actually exit screen here. So never mind. Actually, it looks like it doesn't really matter which waterfall we choose here. It still brings us down to... Okay. Never mind. I thought I was like, oh, well, we got to pick which one. All right, why don't we go ahead and rest here? Because it does look like we have a bit of a puzzle that we can do. We'll just do a quick rest there. And then we can see what we got going on. Go ahead and throw out another save here. Perfect. And now we have some enemies and a puzzle that we can solve. Let's do it. Ha ha! Early boost. We'll go ahead and grab those, and then we will sunball right here so we can hit all of them. Yes! There we go. That was pretty easy. Deleted them, got a fat 360 XP, which feels like so much. And then we can't go through there, but it looks like if we do... So we need to do a couple... We need to hit this real quick to get that fully charged. And then come over here and... Yes! Love it. Ooh -hoo -hoo. Oh, and the music changes, and it just... It's so beautiful. Looks like we get another scroll, which means another combo for us. Valir and Garl learned combo skill Bash Drop. -hoo -hoo. I'm guessing that's going to be some high quality moderate blunt damage versus one target. Okay. Moderate. Hmm. Curious to see... If that ends up being like, is that good? Is that a lot? Why don't we go ahead and make it daytime? There we go. I wonder if like the currents and stuff switch, like if you if you lower the maybe change the time of day if the current ends up being any different. Very curious. Alright, we got some enemies here. Let's do it! Oh, that is a lot. Okay. All right. We got this. We're going to get bubbled. We're going to get bubbled no matter what, I think, here. Um, yeah, we're going to get bubbled no matter what. That's okay, because we do have our girl, Belir, that can moonering. There we go, they're dead. 450 XP, so we are almost leveled up yet again. Come find us, uh, the docks in Brisk. That's just because pirates can't spell, okay? That's all that was. Can't go that way at all. 
surely there's more secrets and stuff to be found here. Port Town of Brisk. Okay. Well, friends, let's uh, see what we got over here. Yep, this is where the demo was. This is the town that we got to go to in the demo. Coral Cascades, obviously, right there. The town of Brisk. Port town of Brisk. But if we go further up, we'll actually see that there is another uh, hole, swimming, fishing, fishing hole, lavish lake that we can go to, as well as abandoned wizard's lab, which is uh, kind of where the majority of the demo actually took place was over here. And of course, before we go to Brisk, why not see what we can fish up? Nothing, actually. We have everything that we can get here at Lavish Lake. So we can fish if we want just to get stuff, but we don't really need to. Looks like potentially there is maybe something on the other, the far side of the lake. There is in fact nothing on the far side of the lake. All right, and I think I've gotten the fish I want from here. We've already gotten everything, so it is time, my friends, my beautiful, beautiful viewers, to head on over to our first big town, the port town of Brisk. Also, y'all, just a quick little thing. Uh, apologies if the audio for the past few episodes, I mentioned it in premieres, but just in case, uh, apologies if the past audio was not that great. I sat down for a big recording sesh, and it wasn't until the middle of this episode that I realized, oh shoot, I had, I was using different settings. So, uh, my bad, but hopefully, hopefully it wasn't too big of a deal. Um, yeah, hopefully, hopefully you didn't even notice. Oh, we made it. Just look at this place. Whoa, what? <laughs> the double eye patch pirate, y'all. Oh, those look to be the pirates that we need to talk to. Voltraid. All done, Captain. The signpost should lead us straight to us. Be on the lookout. We can't miss them. Oh, can do, Captain. Lookout is my middle name. <laughs> we will find suitable adventures for this quest or my name is not Keenathan. He is so cool. He's got, he's a double eye patch pirate. The pirates are in town again. I wonder what they're planning now. Hmm, looking for a boat? Just follow the signpost. These pirates don't feel like they're gonna be, uh, you know, like evil pirates that only want booty. You know? Wait, who doesn't only want booty, but... Looks like there's a little area over here that we can go into, but there's nothing actually in there. Oh, yeah, look at all of the exploration we're going to be able to do. And, oh, this is going to be, this is just going to be great. Supplies and trade goods. Obviously, there's stuff we can find, like a basket for more mushroom scramble. We can jump down. Keep going for the goat boat. <laughs> yeah, I think these signs will, hang on. Our boat is the best. See you at the docks. Oh, those pirates, they're leading us, they know. They know what we, they know what we need. I love it. I heard the pirate crew is back. Apparently they're looking for some coin. Hmm. Just like, oh, hey, a mole person. Did you get the conch in the chest up there? I wonder what they're for. Oh, this one? Oh, yeah, what is that, our, our like, eighth? Yeah, eight rainbow conches already, friends. Love to see that. A little further now. Oh, there's two. A little further now, and little. both of those, they put two signs. Oh, because they don't want us to jump in the water? Is that what it is? That's weird. Okay. I mean, I don't think we can go in any... Interesting. We're playing pirates today. Just have to decide who I'll be. Little fur... Uh, look at... Oh, they blocked us off so that we have to find them instead of being able to explore first. Here we go. Hey, this group looks like they can sail. Greetings. Uh, is this your boat?
Havas, strangers! You got anything to say to the captain, you say it to me! Yolanda, first mate Yolanda Fortwall, at your service. In fact, service is my middle name. Um, wasn't it Lookout? We're a pirate crew searching for the legendary ghost ship. We don't engage in battle anymore, but back in the day, we did it all. Fetching a remedy in a cavern only to find out the town had burned in the meantime? Check. Being left at one hit point so the big baddie could kill us next time? Double check. Heck, we've been to jail because four Imperial soldiers appeared during dialogue instead of a random encounter. <laughs> uh. Tough crowd, huh? Fine, let's do introductions. Meet our leader, Captain Cliché, daughter of a legendary pirate. Hmm. Pleasure to meet you, Captain. We were hoping we could... The one in the back with the oversized shirt, that's our quartermaster, Valtrin. He's the guy who's good at everything. Ha-ha! <laughs> Ahoy there! And the tall one's Keenathan, our wind mage. Keeps our sails full so no one has to row. Uh, greetings, adventurers! My name is Akinathan! Ha-ha! Ugh, right. In case you notice the double eye patch there, that's because Keenathan can only do magic while blindfolded. Discovered his powers as a kid when he put on a pirate costume while he was already wearing a pirate costume. <laughs> uh... Okay, nice to meet you all. I'm Zale. These are my friends, Valir, Garl, and Tinks. We need to secure passage to Wraith Island in time for the eclipse. Ahoy, Captain. Seems to me these two be solstice warriors. Hmm. Aye, seems that be the case. What impeccable timing. Now, Captain Cliche here can certainly take you all to Wraith Island for a price, of course. Shall we make a deal? If you can beat Valtred in arm wrestling, you get to ride for free. But if you lose, you'll have to run a little errand for us. What do you say? Um, we're pretty strong. The terms are simple enough. I'm not sure we should be making a deal with pirates. They seem nice to me. Um, doesn't feel like you have much of a choice. Oh, sure. Go ahead and refuse the call so we can all pretend it might not happen. <laughs> Keep it safe and predictable. Any other trips you had in mind for your journey? How about buying linear upgrades from every single town where blacksmiths are somehow increasingly more capable the further up north they live? <laughs> oh my god, I love this. Um... And who, of course, happened to live in a shed despite selling daggers at 25,000 gold a pop? <laughs> this is the best. Uh... Fine, have it your way. When you're ready for adventure, come meet us at the Humble Boast, and we'll make a deal. The Humble Boast? Local tavern, just follow the docks. <sighs> Look alive, crew. Time to call it a day. Aye, aye, Captain. I love them. Just an entire crew of fourth wall breaking pirates. I knew it. There is a tavern. Kicking back sounds good. I'll go right now to try and meet the chef. See you there. Uh, talk about a wacky bunch. They seem innocuous enough. We should probably go for it. To the humble boast, then. To the humble boast. The... There's still pirate stuff blocking our way. Signs, I mean. Welcome to the best offer there is. Huh. The only offer there is. Hello. Just feel the breeze. Ooh, yeah. Feels good. Let's jump in the water and... Oh, knew it! Thank you, Demo, for that little surprise room underneath the dock there. We get another rainbow conch, bringing us to nine rainbow conches, I believe. And this is a secret merchant, y'all. 
secret. Hi, uh, welcome to my house. I'm sorry, but I'm not accepting visitors at this time. Unless you happen to carry a trader signet. <gasps> Wait, we do. Oh, well that does change everything now, doesn't it? Welcome to the hidden market. Whoa, hey now. Eyes, Eye of Yamara. Displays weaknesses, resistances, and non-boss enemy uh, HP in combat. Dubious Dare increases damage taken. Tome of Knowledge increases XP gained. And Double Edge increases damage in certain situations. Ooh -hoo -hoo. Well now. Obviously, the Tome of Knowledge sounds good. Not for us right now at this point in our journey, but... Eventually, we're gonna want these. We're gonna want those relics. Okay, well, let's uh, remember this is here. We might end up coming back for this stuff. Not at the moment. We're not in any rush. Not in any huge rush for relics. Look at all these ships. Oh, this is great. Yeah, so this area is in the demo. That villager is snoozing. I don't blame him. This place is just beautiful. Like all the different colors. And, ah, it's just great. Just, just ex absolutely exquisite. I am curious to see if there's anything added here separate from the demo, but the signs is definitely different. Even cleaning clothes is fun when you have a beach. Um, that's, you know, I say that every time I'm at the beach. Even cleaning clothes is fun. I don't, I don't, I don't really get the logic on that one, but you know what? I'm not gonna judge them. Looks like some ships have not done so well here. Hey. Oh no, someone found our secret spot. We found this while digging. You can have it if you promise not to tell. Oh, whoa. Okay, that's our 10th conch? Don't tell anyone about our secret spot. I won't. Did you just get one for talking to those kids? Definitely talk to everyone then. I saw someone swim under the docks the other day. Such irresponsible behavior. Ah, uh, letting us know that we could find that hidden market. Machinery used for building ships. Hello. I'm always caught in the middle of their argument. Do I look like a carrier pigeon? It's not fair. She always picks Kenathan. We get six seafoods. Doesn't look like... Yeah, we can't head out this way or anything. Interesting. Another guard here. I could sure go for a swim right about now. Yeah, it looks like you can't actually open any of the doors to go in unless the doors are already open. I'm always... Oh, that's the person. Yep. Hello? We were going to play pirates, but we got into an argument again because we both wanted to be Keenathin. Oh, that's funny. So they're like... They're like the local famous pirates. Okay. Looks like we can go down. Oh, and we have a room that we can indeed go into. Is this the tavern? I don't think so. Yeah, this is not the tavern, actually. So we'll see what's in here. It's signed Daro. Huh. You ever tried the fishing lake north of Risk? I go there all the time to relax. Actually, I was just there, yeah. Hello. I hear the humble boast has a wheels table now. I should probably give it a shot. Oh, <gasps> is that another mini game? I hope it's cards. I hope it's like triple triad. All right, that leads us to this side. And then we can go up to the rooftops. This is down here. Looks like we need to run all the way around. I wonder if there's anything. Nope. Okay, we'll head this way then. Supplies and trade goods. Looks like we can also jump up here. So multiple ways to potentially get over to this spot. We do have another basket we can grab for nine grain. I already have a lot of grain, but that's okay. We'll take we'll take whatever we can get chest on that side. Can't climb up there. I mean, I love it. I love it. This is our first, like, big town. 
I wonder if we could jump into the water here. No. Okay. Surely there's something over here. We're, we gotta, you know, we gotta get all, we gotta find everything we can. Bet you that's the tavern. Hello? Plus, I hear there's good money to be made there. Wouldn't starting a new be great? I don't know. I've heard scary things about Wraith Island. It's cursed or something. Apparently, no one who goes there ever returns. Pfft, nonsense! They just want to keep the good opportunities to themselves. Well, our neighbors never returned. Exactly! They had no reason to, don't you see? I'm not sure. I'm not sure too sure about this. Hmm, seems like we're starting to get to a little bit of dialogue issues. That's okay, though. I don't mind that. I feel like that is probably the tavern, so... Looks like we can actually jump down here to grab this chest. Yes. Found one power belt. We're gonna go ahead and equip that on... Uh, you know what? Let's actually give that to... Oh, we don't have... We'll give that to Zale for now. We don't have Garl with us to be able to equip that. But I'll probably give it to him if I remember after that. Let's see if there's anything on these rooftops. Definitely reminds me, I mean, you know, climbing rooftops in an RPG is just, it's just the best, right? Gots to find all of the loot that you possibly can. We have another chest over here. Still need a weapon for Valir. Shiny Pearl, we can sell that for money. And now we know we actually need a lot of money, so... Is that not something? Okay. This place is pretty large. I doubt I'm going to be able to find everything, but we'll see. It's like a little rooftop bar. Grandpa says we'll come, we'll eat some ice cream later. I can't wait. There's nothing I love more than spending time with my grandkid. What a blessing. It'll soon be the high season. We're getting ready to double patrol time high season. Hmm. Oh, whoa! That's so cool! The rest of the town there. Okay, this place is definitely bigger than I thought. Yeah, this place is huge. Uh, why don't we go in here? Oh! Is that Gasper? Gasper's the name of the guy in Chrono Trigger, too, right? Welcome to the Golden Pelican. Do you have a reservation for today? Uh, no, I don't. My apologies, the Golden Pelican is only for those with a reservation. I must ask you to leave. Welp. Okay. We're gonna need a reservation then, I guess. Rude. Uh, I do see that chest in the corner over there, but let's actually... We'll, we'll, we'll make our way down here first. Because there's a chest there as well. And we'll grab 30 golds. Love to see it. What is this? Supplies and trade goods. Okay. Let's see if we can hop down this way. The signs are still... I wonder if those signs are always going to be there. Can't jump up there, but we can go in here. Looks like a report card. Pirates are in town. I'll try to sneak up on them. Wait, why? You want to fight them? What are you doing, kid? All right, so we got to get back up there. No, we don't. Chest is right here. 50 golds. All right. Look at us getting all this stuff. Ooh, hello. Welcome to Chump Change Chest. For only 5G, you can open any one chest and keep its contents. If you can find the 10G grand prize five times, I'll, re I'll give you a special reward. Want to give it a shot? Yeah, let's do it. Great, just pick a chest now, any chest. Okay. Hey, 10 golds. That's the grand prize indeed. Thanks for playing. All right, so we do it again. If you can find it four more times, four more, if you can find it four more times, we don't need to... Interesting, we actually don't need to do it in a row, I don't think. That was only two golds? Still beats it. Opening, okay, so one has 10, one has two, and one has nothing. 
There we go. One more time to do this. Now, again, there is no, like, there's no trick to this. You could save scum, go save, reload, like, play, reload your save to see which one it was. And then and you could do that, but I, I don't see. Oh, there we go. We got it. I don't see any reason to do that because we did it. That's the grand prize. My, oh, my, you just picked the grand prize for the fifth time. The special reward is all yours. And we get another rainbow conch. Can we... That's so cool. So we now have, we have a lot of those now. We have 11 rainbow conches already. You don't have to do it in a row either, which is actually really nice. That would have been very frustrating if you had to do that in a row every single time. Oh, so this is the other side. Okay, I see now where we are. Great. The abandoned wizard lab to the north of Brisk. <laughs> I have half a mind to go in there and see if there's any treasure. The thing doesn't even have a door. Well, we know about that place, and I'm sure we're going to be heading there. That's, uh... I think that's probably where we're going to be going. You know? See, I thought that that chest thing, he was just going to give us, like, a, a reservation to the Golden Pelican or something, but nope. All right, well, I'm not seeing anything, but if we come down here, there's a place that we haven't been into yet, which has... One of the coolest looking dudes ever, Edward Roulette. Welcome all, welcome to the bonus spin roulette. Pick a number, and if it lands on it, you win a special prize. Spin the BS <laughs> Spin the BS roulette for tent, yup. Pick a number, let's do 74. 74, you lose, please come back again. Are you, is this? Hmm. Let's see. Let's do 28. Ah, oh, come on. This is this is BS. You know? Screw that guy. I bet you he does I bet you can't even win. Wait, this guy wasn't here. Hey, wanna know the next winning BS roulette? What? Seriously? You know, I gotta be honest, though. That guy kind of looks like Edward. So. Let's do it. We have a deal. Next number's 22. I bet you that... That... Oh, you... Oh, it's the same guy. He just put his cloak on and his hair down. <sighs> okay. 22. We have a winner! Here's your prize! Question pack number two. Uh. Is that a key item? It is indeed. Might interest a quiz master. That's all for today. Thanks for playing. All right, bye. Is that. That must be all that we can get then. Well, then, let's see where else. What else we can find here. Oh, there's another chest. We got to grab that one. The best way to do that is to hop up here and then hop down. Nope. Yes. Okay. Great. There we go. And we get a arcane amulet. Let's go ahead and see what that one does. Whoops. Magic defense plus 10. Okay. We will we'll give that to our boy Garl when we get back there. Hello, I don't think we've talked to you before. I'd like to come here and watch the boats arrive. Oh, well, that's cool. Um, good talk. All right, let's hop down here then. Don't forget, you can buy cooking ingredients. We have lots of variety here in Brisk. This place is so cool. I love it. This person will sell us equipment. Uh, obviously, we don't need a silver sword because we got it and we bought all of the relics that we could don't want to spend any... I don't really want to spend any moolah, because I kind of want to get those other relics that we saw. Have a fresh look at my veggies. No, thank you. Have a good day. Arc I'm in the market for a new dinghy, but I'm not sure which one. Hey, you're the ones who fixed the flying lift. Thanks! It's nice to be able to visit Brisk for some shopping again. Alright, cool. So there's a save point here, and then we can't go in there. I wonder, I mean, I feel like we've gotten, there's somebody hiding here. Don't forget, you can buy, oh, never mind. Never, they weren't hiding, they were just 
Here's their taverns this way. There's the tavern. All right. Well, friends, I think we've explored everything that we can here. All right. Wait, maybe there's more we can actually do if we go... If we go all the way back around here, we might be able to do something with... We go this way by the Golden Pelican, and then up. I wish there was a map or of some sort. Yeah, and then let's run through here. And then maybe we can jump here and then up. No. Oops. Hmm. Oh, you know, I bet you we can. I have an idea. So if we run through... There's stuff here. A well-organized shelf. Okay. Run back through, and let's see. Can we? Ah. And then we can push that this way. Perfect. Now we can actually climb up here. And then, hello. This is my favorite spot. Can you feel the breeze? It's no wonder how the team got its name. Oh, the town got its name. Um. All right, maybe... Oh, maybe we can just jump down here. Ooh, okay. Oh, look at that, y'all! Whoever lives here must eat a lot of bananas. What? I don't... Is that a reference to something? I actually don't know. We got a rainbow conch! Is that like a, a like a Donkey Kong thing? Go? I don't know. Whoever lives here... Like, why? And then there's a chicken there. Anyways, we found our... What is that, our 12th? That one was actually a little bit uh, harder to find. I think that's awesome. Definitely the type of game where I'm gonna constantly be like, oh, I, am I, is something over here or something over here? Because I feel like all the time they elude that there's, there is stuff there. Look at that, look at that in the background. Wow. Wow. God, this game's so beautiful. In case you didn't know, y'all, I am thoroughly enjoying this game, and I hope you are as well. Let me know if you found any secrets here so far in the port, or if there's anything that I found that you didn't find. That's also good to know. Oh, look at that. If we jump down on the roof, we'll ab we're able to find a sapphire ore here. This is what I mean. It's like, I thought I explored real well, but here I am finding more stuff. That is awesome. And then there's uh, a statue of the sleeper. Yep. Whoop, let me jump down. I love my job. I'd be hanging out in the sun all day anyway. Yeah, hopefully not in equipment, though. See that sleeper statue? My friend says there's an older version of it hidden somewhere, but I don't believe her. Huh. I mean, that's gotta be... That's gotta be a clue, right? So, it's back over on this side. Welcome to the humble boast. Please boast humbly and responsibly. I don't think there's anything else we can do here at Port Town of Brisk. Maybe before we do that, let's just revisit, because I I don't think... Let's see if there's anything else that we can get from this person, because I just kind of looked briefly. Oh, they have a recipe. Yeah, we want the recipes, right? So let's buy that. We, we're going to need that anyways. Recipes are... We're, like I said, we're going to need them. Sapphire ore, we can sell that. We're not going to worry about too many other things here. I'm sure we'll, I don't, like, I highly doubt we'll lose access to this place. Which means that we only really have the humble boast now to go to. Did we go up here? Hmm, nope, this is a ship. Oh, is the hump, oh, that's cool. Just making sure the chimney's in good working condition. There won't be much time for maintenance during the high season. What is the high season? Uh, Quilliam is his name. The ocean bringer of dreams and notion. What? Well, let's do it. Oh, yeah, taverns. Thanks again for the help. Oh, are you guys from? My friend here, who's one of my many connections throughout the world, just told me what happened in the wind tunnels. Scary stuff. This is a wheel stable. Anyone with their own wheel and at least two figurines can play. <sighs> we don't have those, but I need them. I will let it go, just as long as you do not go thinking I just learned that. Which I didn't need to hear since I practically invented it. Wait, what are you all talking about? Oh, little hidden... Oh, Garl's here talking to the chef. Oh, shoot. Just like that, you're a natural. Chef, thanks so much. This will really come in handy. 
Anytime. Reckon I'm the one who should be thanking you for all the tips. Look at him, already making friends. <laughs> That's our girl. Ah, oh, there you are. Ready to go see the pirates? There we go. All right, let's go ahead and equip our boy. We're gonna go ahead and take off the, uh, nah, we'll leave the power belt on. We'll give him the arcane amulet. Remember, he's our, he's our, uh, our tanky boy. So we'll use him, we'll use him for just that. Thanks for the chat, Garl. You're as real as it gets. Oh, that's cute, Garl. Good for you, dude, making friends. Tavern? Oh, okay. Welcome to the, were you looking? No, that's all right. We don't need to come back anytime, okay? I was on a trip to Lucent once. They also had stools to sit on. Um, okay. I'm telling you, I saw it with my own eyes. It was less than 100 yards in front of my ship. What is it? Oh, yeah? Well, it was less than 10 yards from my ship once. They must be talking about the ghost ship. I'm keeping an eye on these pirates. All right, here we go. Time to arm wrestle. Well, look who it is. The deal stands. If you can't beat Valtrated Arm Wrestling, you're all gonna need to fetch an item for us. After which, Pirate's Honor will take you to Wraith Island. Do you accept these terms? Uh, yeah. We accept. Everybody! Arm Wrestling Battle! Let's go! Everyone came out for this. B E A beautiful. Valtred, you're up. You guys are too strong. It wouldn't be fair. I'll do it. Plus, arm wrestling a real pirate? How cool is that? Fine, but go easy on the poor fella. You got it, Valier. I'll be your challenger. Valtred. <laughs> Captain, we can't leave without the coin. Go all out. <laughs> aye, aye, Captain. Right, tough one, you look like. Ready? On three. One, two, three. Ah! Ha <laughs> ha! Oh, oh my god. Are you hot in here? Anybody else? Oh. Some All Might action there. Cheater. I'm sorry, did I miss the part where we agreed on a no magic shirt rule? Sorry, pal. Captain's orders. Are you kidding? That was awesome! Ah, this'll be my best anecdote for sure. Show me again. You're lucky we didn't ask about any specifics. Should have negotiated when you had the chance, son. This lesson's on the house. Haha, <laughs> Valtry truly is good at everything. You know it, pal. Now, since you lost the arm wrestling challenge, how about we discuss this little errand? Uh... Captain? North of Brisk is the abandoned lab of an arcane wizard who died long ago. It hasn't been opened for centuries, but stories say it conceals a coin of on death occurred. Why do you want it? It's a powerful token. Paying an undead creature with it forces them to do one's bidding. I plan on using it to force the ghost captain of the Vespertine to surrender his ship to me. Whoa! Huzzah! How do we get in? Fear kept people away all this time. But you look like you can handle yourself, so it shouldn't be a problem. My crew won't fight, but they'll get you inside. A bit of magic should do the trick, Anything? Haha, <laughs> aye aye. I shall open the entrance to the abandoned wizard lab, or my name is not Keenathan. Ahoy, Captain, ain't you coming with? I will stay here and make preparations for our departure. Fetch the coin of on death occurred, then meet me at the docks. Aye, aye, Captain. Oh, Yolanda, Valtred, and Keenathan join the cargo. All right. Hmm. All right, well, uh, have a good day, I guess. You want to hang out with me? Teeks, you staying? 
I'll stay here. Got a lot of research notes to sort and organize. Okay. I asked for coffee and explained I had to study for an exam. When the waiter said, oh, so not a small, then a medium? I said, I'm studying for finals! He apologized and gave me a large. Nothing better than a cold drink after a hard day of work being busier than everyone else. I have a very unique situation at work. I wear many hats, and everything would stop working well if I ever quit or went on a vacation. Okay. <laughs> Good to know. Avast! Listen here before we leave. Y'all notice the wheels table right there in the corner? The watchmaker invented that game. Gotten real popular over the years, too. Look, I'm sorry we had to play that little trick on you. It ain't much, but I thought if maybe you wanted to get into wheels, you could have this. And we get copper wheel. And warrior figurine. And mage figurine. You can now play wheels. Tables can be found, uh, found mostly in taverns. Challenge town champions to earn new figurines and improve your own wheel. Rules can be viewed in the how to play section of the pause menu. Feel free to try it out now, or you can head to that wizard lab right away if you prefer. Well, I think mini game means that we must do. Want to play some wheels? Uh, yeah, casual game to learn. Look at that, our first wheels match, and we won. I feel like that's pretty self-explanatory. You won! We get 10 gold for winning. All right, so if we look at our menu here, which is in the how to play section, we can see wheels. Uh, wheels is a clockwork battler where each player controls two heroes. Match energy to make your heroes attack and bring the enemy's crown's HP to zero. Uh, while diamond is for the right hero. So square energy is for the left hero while diamond is for the right. We got that one as well. Heroes evolve. We got that one. Gain two XP whenever they act. Heroes always start off at the bronze tier and can each evolve to silver and gold. Filling the XP bar on a gold hero will spawn a bomb, dealing two damage directly to the opponent's crown, disregarding their bulwark. A mage attacks twice. The first fireball is at the ground level and easily blocked by the bulwark, while the second fireball flies at a height of six units, guaranteeing a hit on the crown, even if the bulwark is matched out. Uh, ooh. I love it. The platinum wheel may challenge the match, the watchmaker himself. Woo -hoo -hoo. Rumors say that those who unlock all six heroes and the platinum wheel. Well, that seems awesome. Let's go ahead and uh, let's see what we can do. Champion game. I'm I'm ready for that. So they have a priest on their side, uh, which is the champion has a priest. So what we'll do is we'll use the mage. We can actually do so. We can only do one of each. All right. So we actually want to focus on the mage here. So we're gonna do we're gonna do that. Try to focus on the mage, um, and I don't think we're gonna worry too much about a bulwark just yet. We're just see if we can rush to do damage. So our third spin, perfect. So that's actually should do some, not quite damage yet, but we're gonna focus on the mage. Ooh, unless we get a good spin like that, in which case we will focus on promoting the knight. And the mage is going to be able to attack. Attacks the bulwark and then did two damage to the crown. We have no damage to our crown yet at all. Oh, and we're going to definitely do this. There we go. And one on that. Not able to attack yet, but our crown now taking three damage. And their archer got promoted, which is putting us at a bit of a disadvantage here. Put a bulwark up if we can. Um, there we go. Get a promotion for our knight, or try to. We're able to attack the bulwark. Unfortunately, not... We have to be a little more strategic here, I think, friends. We only have three health left. Put a little bit of a bulwark on ours. Our mage is going to get upgraded now. Fortunately, their archer getting some huge upgrades and almost attacking. They are able to build a bulwark, but that's okay, because we'll actually attack, which takes that out. And then we get another three. 
So we're three versus five now on their stuff. We're gonna need a big bulwark here, I think. So the priest was able to heal and give them, all right, good. So we were able to block the archer. We need big, 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 uh, oh man, we don't need that. We actually just need big mage, I think here. Big mage energy and hope that we get a nice win. There we go. That's enough to upgrade our mage. Our mage is now gold. And we get an attack, which is going to hopefully destroy the bulwark and then a massive three damage. All right, there's no bulwark now, so we're gonna we're actually gonna see. Well, let's build our own, and then we're going to uh, one more spin and hope that we get some. Okay, big bulwarks, big bulwarks. They have a little bit of a bulwark on there, so we're going to try to see if we can take that out. Um. Hopefully these two are something useful. Fortunately, it was able to heal, which gives itself another thing there. And is gold already, which is unfortunate, but we do have a very large bulwark. We're not going to worry about promoting here. I think we just need our mage. Actually, if we, if we promote beyond what it already is... Then it will do the bomb. All right, so it has a bulwark. This is close. All right, this hopefully will be a big attack. Unfortunately, the archer is... There we go. Two health left not able to take down our stuff. So if I can get the knight to attack here, which I am able to do, I think we actually win. I think we win, and we bomb here as well. Screw it. Let's go. This is it. There. We win. We beat the champion, baby. That's it. Woo! Love to see it. Our first... We're undefeated for wheels. We're so good at this game. Hey, you won! Congratulations, here's your prize. And we get the archer figurine. But no upgrade at all to our stuff, huh? We can cha play champion again, but you've already beaten me, so there won't be any big reward this time. Wanna play? Uh, maybe later. Uh-oh. Oh my gosh, these pirates. <laughs> I love them so much. Uh, I love that her name is, her, her name? Their name? Captain Cliche is great. Which is great. So that means that we're done here at the port town of Risk. We have our, our pirate friends. So that means we can continue on. I think we, I, you know, who knows, but I feel like we've gotten everything we possibly can out of port town Brisk. We're leaving with uh, an archer figurine, mage figurine, copper figurine. We still have the copper wheel, but that's okay. Not even considered to be level one. And uh, 12 rainbow conches, so... If you had more rainbow conches at this point in the game, yeah, definitely let me know. I'm curious. And, my friends, that is going to do it for today's episode. This was a big one, potentially a long one. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, again, apologies if the sound for the past couple episodes was not as great. I will fix that in the future. Why don't we chop, stop by camp real quick before we end? Ah, we can talk to everyone, and that's exactly what we're going to do in the next episode of Sea of Stars. Thank you so much for watching. Huge shout out to those of you watching in the premieres of these episodes, and an even bigger shout out to those of you leaving comments and likes and all of that stuff. It sincerely, sincerely helps this series out. I hope you're enjoying it. Let me know your thoughts in the comment below, and uh, if you didn't like it, feel free to dislike it too. Thanks so much for watching, and remember, never give up, never surrender to wheels.